So Excellent. we are doing <laughs> Darth, that Darth and my brand Relic, doing a short little talk, saying hello to everybody. You guys can check them out on Twitch. They're awesome oh individuals. Goodness. They're Hi. just razzy, razzy people and cool people to hang out with. And we're doing our first ever trying to do a podcast slash talking <laughs> video. So the first one we're going to be doing is what foods we pick two up a piece which foods do we not do we not believe should be on the pyramid food table well my first one was hot dogs and why why because first of all there's this huge debate on if it's a sandwich or not oh. <laughs> okay can I argue this point then? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I mean, unless Darth has something. What do you have, what do you have Darth? What do you have? I mean, you're going. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay. I kind of agree with Barb on this one in a little, in a sense. Like when it comes to hot dogs, it's it's the stuff that goes into them, at least in my opinion. Oh no. Uh, mm -mm. no like, I only. I only eat beef hot dogs because of that. I partially, even though it's like, I'd rather. Is, is, it to, is it safe to say <laughs> some, like, is this 18 plus or is this. No, oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, as my, as my boyfriend likes to say, it's all assholes and lips. So. <laughs> I mean, it is. It, it's, it's, it's the butt ends of everything, and, you know. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's <laughs> my, my whole reasoning beyond the whole is a hot dog a sandwich thing <laughs> is... Is it really a product? <laughs> is it really a product? It's, it's like... Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's made up of so many other things. Can it fit? On, is it yeah. technically me? Is, can it technically be put on that part of the pyramid? Right. I mean, it's the same thing with bologna, and I love bologna. My favorite ugh, thing on earth. Oh, oh I love bologna. My favorite thing on earth is that a bologna and cheese sandwich. Meat. <laughs> Separated meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my favorite thing on earth is a bologna and cheese sandwich. But well. uh, I don't think that do, do I think that it belongs on the pyramid of like what's the healthiest things to eat? No. Fuck it's a bottom. It's a bottom of the entire list. Bottom tier. <laughs> it should bottom be. Tier. See, for me, Sorry. before we even talk about the food itself, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna make this very clear how or I stand if hot dog is really a sandwich or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hot dogs and tacos are the same thing. Okay. A sandwich is two layers. You have top and the bottom. Okay, that's a sandwich. It's a oh, I get what okay. Hot dogs is it in one bun, or eight eight percent of your hot dogs are in one bun. Tortillas okay. are one wrap bun. Ooh, what about a sub? That, yeah, that's, that's a sandwich. A sub is a sandwich. Okay, but if a sub is a sandwich, why is a hot like if a meatball sub is a sandwich? Why is a hot dog? There is sandwich? still a top crust and a bottom crust on a sub. If you look at it. They, do, they cut it in the middle. Well, it's a hot dog, though. It depends on what, on what kind of bread you use. What kind of bread are you using? Are you using your whole, your actual like uh, bread loaf like I do? I use a loaf of bread, and I just like one slice of bread, and I put the hot dog on it. It's cheaper than buying your hot dog buns, which is a bun, in a sense, is still a half of a sandwich. But even then, even then, like if I go to Subway, right, and I order a meatball sub. Yep. It's still connected. It's still one piece of bread. You don't disconnect it? You don't? Why what? not? You, you, there's no way, because if you disconnect it, all the sauce spills everywhere. That's the fun part. <laughs> I, want the, I want the mess. I want to be able to... Run, 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 run. I want to eat my fingers when I'm done, bro. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fair. That's fair. I mean, a good taco is, is one that's messy. You gotta have like, a nice open-faced taco. 
like a burrito and just like squirt all over your face and you're good. You know, the best thing about tacos though is <laughs> is you can have a tortilla underneath you while you eat, so all all the stuff that falls out falls into the next taco. That's why you have a dog. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, so hot dog is is yours, and I, I agree with you. It, it, hot dogs are baloney; should not be on the pyramid whatsoever. Because it's just it, it's just it's just products. It's nothing. It's just stuff that should not belong in your food diet anywhere. <laughs> I understand why they do it though, because they don't want to. They're like the whole thing about you don't want to be wasteful. Taste. Exactly. So I totally understand that. Yeah. And uh, but it's it's honestly it's not the healthiest thing for us to eat. I totally get it. But it's just like <laughs> if you're able to eat something better. I mean, I'm even though I'm not the biggest fan of like sausage in general, I'd rather eat sausage because that at least has like actual meat and spices. Exactly. And, and like I can spice up some bologna for it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man alright so oh, Darth man. Darth what was the one you had in your list uh oh jeez I'm gonna go with the the I guess more controversial one it, tomatoes tomatoes so you cause your thing is is it really a, a food in a sense but it's actually I mean, is okay. a Tomatoes are more of a. Oh, there you go, Puerto Rican. It's tomato. That's a tomato. It's tomato. Yeah, the tomatoes <laughs> are just like you know, they're they're more of an accent or something that you use to make things. They should not be eaten by themselves. Okay. <laughs> That's it. It's just my opinion, though. I just don't like tomatoes. I I could eat a tomato like an apple. I love tomatoes. Also, everybody always gets confused with them. Oh, and, As like you had been saying very, before, yeah. are they a vegetable? Are they a fruit? They are a fruit, but ugh. They are a fruit, they yes. They taste like one. I, but like, cherry <laughs> they do cherry. not taste like one. Oh. Uh, the thing is, with a tomato, the reason why a tomato is also considered a vegetable is because of its... It's, uh... Savory? Yeah, the savoriness of it, the juiciness of it. A lot of your fruits are also juicy. But the thing is, mm -hmm. tomato has a more of a bland, not so sweet of a flavor. Unless you get the small cherry tomatoes or tomatoes. If you get if you get a small cherry tomato, I don't mind it being in my in my uh in my salads. Mm -hmm. But I do not I mean I agree with you that it should not belong in the food pyramid. It should be in its own category such as bologna and hot dogs, okay? But I do enjoy a good a good pico, a pico de gallo. I do enjoy a, a, a good a good chili with tomatoes in it. I salsa. you know salsa. salsa. It's all tomato. Spaghetti sauce. I mean, you, you can't have a good lasagna without having spaghetti sauce. You know. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, exactly. Tomato is a it, it's like it's like hot again hot dogs. They're a good filler for certain things. But it should not be a, a a main food to be put in your library of like I must have it in my food library. <laughs> I mean, it's I know it depends on everybody, but oh my gosh, <laughs> just for me and myself, tomatoes are just an accent for things. They're they're not a food. They're not a food. I not one that I enjoy anyway. And my brain's just sitting there going. You guys just you test like, everything. This is a really weird topic for me because I'll eat almost anything. <laughs> that's that, see, that's why when you'd find you and Darth Vine decided to show up to my stream in person, where you try all these weird foods and see what you happens. <laughs> oh my goodness! I saw oh. that you had what was it the the uh, what was it the dried squid not too long the ago? the dried squid with cricket and larva yeah what what did you think about the dried squid though like just by itself. <sighs> I picked up the wrong bag. <laughs> Are you mad? You when I was the wrong bag? when I was a young lad, I used to eat the dry squid with no problem because it was teriyaki flavored. The stuff I got was actually seasoned with like a seaweed and seafood flavoring, mm -hmm. and it tasted straight up from the butt of a squid. Like it was disgusting. <laughs> And so I, I'm chewing on it, and it, all I taste is like seafood. 
like raw seafood. I raw. love that though. It's gross. He loves that. It's gross. And that's, so I'm like, next time I'm gonna try to find the one that's not so much. I think my taste buds are also changing a lot. Now that I'm getting older, I, my taste buds are changing. Like I used to hate asparagus, and now I love asparagus. asparagus um, is it is. You you butter it up with some uh, garlic cloves and some onion. You put them on on uh, on some buttered bread and eat that. Oh my gosh! Not even, see, for me, I how I grew up was just like here's what's for dinner: either eat it or don't eat it at all. Or maybe maybe. <laughs> so I. Uh, that makes sense. I starve I just, so much. <laughs> I, I, I I am not a picky eater whatsoever. I'll go. Yeah, fuck. I'll I'll eat that. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I, I will not eat is like haggis though. Oh, oh the I stomach. will I will eat that till the end of time. Have you had it before? Yes. I should have yeah. had I should have that on my list. <laughs> it has like yes. minced meat and stuff in there, right? And yeah, I can't remember. A, a lamb stomach filled with I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this yeah. one instead of me using s'mores. As, I'm gonna do haggis. You know, I, I'm gonna steal that Hi, haggis. Haggis should not be on the pyramid table because. So good. The food pyramid is terrible because the thing is, haggis is like a byproduct again of like hot do hot dogs and and bologna is is basically oh, the same as haggis. So it's the exact same thing. You're taking the extra excess of what a lamb has in it and you're putting it into a freaking it's a lie of a brat. I love brats, but you make it into a lie and you make it into a freaking yeah. Oh, I mean, I kind of understand it. The it, it smell. Does sound very, the smell it does sound is very... disgusting. Ugh, it's so, you, so good. you've been around haggis before? I hundred percent. You say both of us have. <laughs> I haven't. I uh, haven't. There, there's a place in Michigan. You go to Lansing, the the capital. There's an Irish pub we went to. We were going to a uh, uh, Christian thing. We we're going to. When I was like 25, I think it was. So it's been a while back, but we went to this Irish pub, and it was it was amazing. It was, it was great people. I mean, the Best people in the world are Irish because they know how to party, and but they're very generous and they party. They they're very friendly. Oh. They'll they'll guard you with their life. They're pretty cool. That's why they're good cops. But the thing is, is their food ideas like blood pudding, uh, black uh, black no black pudding, blood uh, blood bread or whatever it's called, haggis. Yeah. And so they they're, they're, they're like, we want to give you the best of the Irish lads can give you. And I'm like, okay, so this is. Literally, barmaid comes up and she's like, "I'll take an order for you now." And I'm like, "That's just pretty nice." And she comes up, drops this platter in front of us, and all these all these Irish guys are sitting the, at, the, at the bar looking at it. It's like, "Are they gonna eat it, laddie? I don't know." And I'm like, "It's it's so good if you oh. like some savory things." The, the only thing I could eat was a, the only thing I could eat was a haggis because it was just so gross. I mean, the, you. I would try it. She cut open fresh. You love this laddie. She opens it up and just a smell. And I'm like, <laughs> no. It, it smell the the smell of haggis smells like dead dog. It's, no, it <laughs> smells like the smell of a hamburger put on a grill. Uh oh, it, it, uh oh. It depends uh -oh. on the person, I guess. It, it sounds savory. <laughs> this Spanish like, man does, does not agree with that at all. <laughs> I have a very sensitive, sensitive nose, I guess, because I smell everything in that stomach. I, that was I, gross. I, I, I mean, I feel the same way. I feel like that, like, really, really spicy things argue with me. I get it if you guys don't like the really savory stuff. <sighs> I I would at least try it. I, I would at least try it. I, I've tried durian in the past and things like okay, that. Okay, durian is not. That, is, right. I did not like durian. If you like durian, you'll hate haggis. <laughs> oh, boy. Just that, I'm just saying, whatever oh the boy. sheep has had in his track, it, okay? It's all, you're it's eating. all grass. The pig. It's the same thing with the pig. If you if you if, if you take a pig, the, what a sausage is, it's a pig it's intestine. The, yeah, it's the meat. casing. Yeah. But they have more flavor in there, my dude. It's more it's flavor. What, what, what's it? Was a sheep and a pig. What's Cause the difference? Because sh sheep, you should enjoy the steak, not enjoy the insides. Yeah. You, you have to eat the whole thing. No, That's you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> 
that's disrespectful to the animal, it's disrespectful to the environment, and it's dis disrespectful to the planet if, if you if don't somebody, respect the whole animal. Yeah, if somebody wants to eat it, let them eat it, but I don't... I let the have... Irish eat their own. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> eat their own lambs and their sheep. We will eat our high non-haggis foods. <laughs> Yeah. Even the word haggis sounds is just gross. I'm just saying. <laughs> what do you think, Nico? Would you eat haggis? And she yeah. just purrs. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he has no comment. He has a comment? All right. So, my brain, your next one on the list you had was insects. Yes. Um, what kind of insects I, are you talking about? Like any of them or? I feel like, unfortunately, as time goes on, like, if there was a nuclear apocalypse right now, we probably wouldn't be able to have cows. So we would be forced to eat other things. Um, mm -hmm. And at least from my experience, they don't taste bad. They don't. And <laughs> it, it, it is um, uh, very, I, I guess in the best way I can say, is healthy for you. It has very, it has a lot, insects have a lot of nutrients <laughs> and stuff. Protein. But like... <laughs> But, but on, <laughs> on the actual pyramid itself, where it says like meat, grains, proteins, or whatever, proteins, it insects just do not fit in the food pyramid, and that's what the topic is about. And that yeah. is the correlation. It it's just like, hey, this is what we might be forced to eat someday, and all that it reminds me of. Oh yeah, there's a lot of bugs in the foods that we eat now, like rice. You, that's why they tell you to wash your rice, because there's oh. maggots in your rice. <laughs> <laughs> and Darth is like, what? <laughs> I just ate rice today, what the fuck? Yeah, and on top no, of that... I, I do rinse my rice all the time. And, and, and I don't. That, I love larva. Of is there's a movie called Demolition Man. Yep. And, oh, uh, and there's this scene where they go underground which is like an entire underground civilization and after many many years this guy wakes up after being frozen in ice and mm -hmm. being in the society that was above ground that doesn't eat meat they're like all all about like vegetarian they, they all live off the land and he goes underground mm -hmm. he's like finally i can get a good burger and he's like yeah I'll, I'll have a cheeseburger and he takes a bite out of it and the guy next to him is like hey you should spit that out and the dude's like, why? why? Why should I spit this out? He says, do you see any cows around? <laughs> and they're like in an underground sewer civilization. He's like, yeah, that's a that's a rat burger. <laughs> and he goes, well, you know what? Tastes fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> see, my, my thing is, is I, I'm, I'm going to kind of agree with you on the whole insect thing. But I mean, here's one thing that it's like, I'm going to go back to I mean, the Bible. Value the is Bible times. John the Baptist did locusts. That was his meal: locusts and honey. So there's yeah. got to be some kind of nutrition value that is important for someone who is living off the land, in a sense. Yes, if, if someone is living off the land, there is definitely nutritional value in bugs. I'm just saying yeah, there's there there's tarantulas. Definitely. There's tarantula people eat tarantulas in like Vietnam and stuff. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say it's it's, it's a huge it's a huge cultures, stable. It's a huge thing. Right, it's a huge staple in the third third world parties. You know, third world countries is a huge staple of having like bugs because bugs are so large in their area and as, as make, most of their main protein. And and like you, like you did recently with the, with the with the the crickets and larvae. Crickets. Yeah. The, I've had those crickets before. I know they don't taste bad. They taste mm. like sunflower seeds. I've heard that they taste like nuts. Like, like almonds, <laughs> no. peanuts. Like you said, sunflower seeds. I do want to try them. I would try <laughs> ants or great. crickets. I don't know about larvae, but I would try that, that's different what, things. The, I've, actually, I've actually had an ant burger before. Really? It was completely made the burger itself was completely made out of ants and it was actually i couldn't i couldn't tell the difference at all huh must be the seasoning they add to it then oh yeah that and like you know the liquid smoke and all that stuff with all the ingredients that we have it's like we can go entirely green 
with the things that uh like darth background <laughs> well that's because she has her green <laughs> screen behind her that's not active at the moment <laughs> Okay, well, so now, now we're on insects right now, though. Darth, yours, your next food you said they should not be on the list. For the, the transitions, yeah. Honestly, is snail. Uh, snails. So, I mean, I understand the need for them in certain cultures and things like that. Just the same as bugs uh, or insects or even like frogs. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. Ooh, God bless you. God bless you. Bless you again. Uh... I'm waiting for his beard to flare up. <laughs> He's gonna roll it out. Just, just snails. Escargo. My hey. counter argument to snails is mm-hmm. clams and oysters. Ew. No. Oh, I don't tend to eat those either. You guys are crazy. I feel like if clams I... and oysters taste good, snails probably taste fine. I <laughs> I would try snail. I just don't think it has a place on the pyramid. But, oh yeah, I uh, agree that I don't feel like it but, takes a place in the food pyramid. No, honestly, I don't have a problem with it. I would at least try it. I've heard that they taste like what you have, what whatever you put on it. So, well, that's just the thing, like, right? Like garlic. It, it, yeah, it, but, tons and tons of butter and garlic. It, <laughs> butter it, and garlic. <laughs> I love it. Butter and garlic. If oysters and clams are just an animal in a shell and then you eat the mm-hmm. inside and the inside of that animal tastes good why yeah. would a snail taste any different the only difference is one lives in the ocean and one doesn't yeah hmm. that's true that's interesting that's just, just not my my i don't know okay i like i, I haven't had a lot of like oysters or clams or things like that like this year was the first time or this last year was the first time i had clams and clam chowder took me a while to get get used to it not gonna lie but it's not bad it's just it's very different for me um and then i had it was a while ago but it was they're called oysters rockefeller oh i I had that wasn't a fan of it Mm. I really wasn't, um, but I that doesn't mean that I wouldn't try it again, right? Or anything like that. Same thing with the snails. Like honestly, I would give it a try. Right. I am one hundred percent, uh, willing to try almost anything at least once to see if I like it. So, it's not off the table for me, <laughs> but it's just like, eh. <laughs> I need a pee break. I'll be right back. You guys talk about snails. Well, actually, we're going to do a quick break, guys. And we'll be back with part two.